Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture, and it's time for more Let's Play Rogue Legacy, and, uh... I'm actually way past my, uh, ordinary now LPing bedtime, but, uh, I'm on a roll. Which is actually weird to say, because these last two... Oh, jeez, last three lives, maybe. Sir Galber, you did a good job. You're a legend. I mean, Divine, I guess, is not that bad. It's been a while since we had anybody. It's been a while since we had anybody who was useless. Ah, uh, you can't get any more details than that. Uh, Barbarian queens are good. Hokage is, of course, awesome. Sir Kotaki the second. Oh, he can get back. Um, he's got a scythe. He can get break stuff and get MP back. So that's good. Oh, hypochondriacs, we can deal with that. I am liking the idea of this Okage, Sir Kotaki II. Let's send him out into battle. Four grand, you can still get a decent amount of stuff with that. Bringing home the bacon. Death Defy. Hmm. Gain another tenth of a second to invulnerability time. I don't really know that that's all worth it. Increasing our magic damage would be good, though. Increasing our health. Increasing our equipment. Yeah. I need to do that in order to uh, take along my cool new cape, so... Let's do some upgrades to that. Actually, let's see. Now I, have, now I can carry how much? Can I put on everything that I want? Well, can I buy this? I can, and I can wear it. Look at how great I am now. Actually, this does absolutely nothing for the Hokage, because it's all about criticals, and Hokage cannot critical. But it's okay. Look at how much damage we're doing. We're going into the hundreds, folks. Just barely can't equip up anymore. Do some more mana. Some more critical chance. All those great skills that do not affect the Hokage in any way. Let's increase our armor. Because we cannot increase our damage. Which is not bad. Could be better. Can always be better, folks. We can always improve. <gasps> Oh, and I got that bounty rune. That's right. That was good. Got a rune. Got all this kinds of crazy stuff. You know, eventually, you get enough money to unlock a bunch of these. I could, uh... You know. Could have custom rune sets to go in with. I guess that's something that a lot of people will do. Hmm. Will do. Hey. Suck a chair. I was about to say, why don't you try and move first? Maybe I should be leaving this stuff behind. Just so that I'll have the uh, ability to throw more weapons around later. Maybe I should, but I'm just not doing it. Chirp you about back there, Hazel. Man, 
picking up so much gear. You. I feel like I've already heard about you. Villainous. Development time three months. Oh, maybe I haven't. Well, this was one of the more risky endeavors we ever took. Or undertook. The universe concept was reverse tower defense. Oh, yeah. It does sound fairly interesting. Got kind of crazy treasure up here. Okay. That was a thought. Try and use my replacement technique to teleport onward, upward, forward. Whatever you want to look at. There's no treasure in here. There are no Hulkamaniacs here. aren't even worth your own individual swings anymore. Money. I like it. Yeah, I know. It's uh, controversial, but I'm going to come out on the side of liking money. I'm having to go through too much of Castle Ham sandwich here. In order to try and find my way up to, uh... Find my way up to the Maya. I can't leave treasure behind. It's probably good treasure with how hard these guys are hitting me. I mean, look at that. I'm taking thousands of hit points. Damage. moving. I probably could have left some of those guys alone, but no, I... Alright, here we go. Now we're up to the mine. Right, I'm calling you into the penalty box for Ison. Ho 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 ho. Being able to deal enough damage to enemies in this area is definitely a big, a big deal. Whoa!
You know, once you realize that a uh, stream of those are roughly as easy to uh, avoid as... an individual one. Bounce around there like that, aren't they? Come on, balls. Quit bouncing around like that. I know eventually you guys stop living, don't you? By which, of course, I mean that you are alive. Down to the last third of my health. It's not entirely unreasonable to, uh... Hop back down here just to get a snack. I feel better with just that much. Could probably get more, but... You know, crunch all you want. We'll make one. Using my van prison. That's probably enough. Let's head back up to the Maya some more. Let's go for some more to Maya. I was having a nice little explore down this direction. These balls floating around. But I'll just take them. Away. You're not really treasure, I can tell. Alright, that one's a lot more threatening. Although, hey, can I, uh... No, I can't. Can't hit him with those from here. just a little bit of a smaller person. I'll be able to manage that part just fine. <sighs> now the question being, where is the easiest place to try and go suck up more life? And the other question being, do people actually care to see this sort of thing? These are difficult questions.
Yeah, that would have been a real difficult situation. Uh, one bag of money from you guys, really? Come on. Now I can keep gathering health until I come to the portal of hell or the boss room. That'll give me a nice little bit of uh, health to bring home. Yeah, that's good. Let's go back to the Maya. Keep fighting around. Everybody's fighting around. What's up there? Anything? No, it's... Yes, I did one from top to bottom. Such a badass. Mm, mm. There we go. So, I got hit with Fireball and killed, but I'm okay with it. Did some killing, did some wandering around the Maya, did some raising of funds. It was a fundraiser, folks. It was a fundraiser. How did we do, actually? Eh, almost five grand. That's pretty good. Won't get us the absolute highest value skills, but it'll pick us up some things. That's all you really want out of any of these generations, right? That's all you want to do is leave your children a little with, with a little bit more than you had, right? And in this game's terms, that means uh, with an additional point of armor or uh, maximum hit points or the ability to carry more equipment. Maybe access to a rune that you didn't have when you were a kid. Back in my day, we didn't have these kinds of fortune runes and things like that. Actually, it was the GoGo 80s, so maybe they were starting to develop those things. Regardless, folks, this is Boba the Vulture. This has been Let's Play Rogue Legacy. I enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did, too. When we come back next time, we will enjoy some more running around in the castle. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye now.